Hey, what's up everybody? Edison here from Move Foundry. Today you're watching another tutorial on Final Cut 10 Shortcut Keys. This is meant to be used in two ways. You can either watch the entire video if you're new to Shortcut Keys altogether, or if there's a specific function you're looking for that you need the shortcut keys to, you can just go to the description box below. There are corresponding time codes to each function that I have laid out in this video, so you could just jump to that particular part in the video, all right? So with that said, let's just get started. Okay, so I have three clips over here, all right? And the first one that I'm gonna go on is Blade, and that's going to be uh, exactly what it says, it's Blade. So wherever the playhead is parked, if I push Command B, it's going to cut that clip exactly where the playhead is parked, okay? All right, now, <clears throat> if, if for instance you have another clip that's laid on top and you push Command B, Notice that it does not cut the clip above it, but only whatever's in the main storyline, okay? So how do you cut all these clips that, let's just say, are stacked vertically, okay? And I'm gonna stack another one up. Uh, let me just uh, add this one here. So let's just say if you have all these clips, kind of um, these two clips attached to the one on the main storyline here, how do you blade all of them, all right? And that's going to be the blade all command, which is shift command B. And I'm gonna press that now. Okay. And notice that it's it just cut it down, you know, down the whole thing. The next one that I'm going to show you is to change the duration of a clip. Okay. So if let's just say for instance you have this clip over here, and well, let me actually close the seam right here. Um, you have this clip over here, and you want to change its duration, all right? If you press Control D, all right, right now, notice that it's uh, two seconds long, all right? I think you can uh, do some math on it as well. If you want to reduce it by, let's just say, one second, and I'm going to type in minus 100, zero, zero, meaning one second and zero frames, it's going to reduce it down to one second, okay? Uh, and conversely, if you want to add um, time to it, you can do a plus, okay, and press, let's just say, two seconds, and the entire thing should be about three sec exactly three seconds long, okay? So that's a change to the duration, all right? Now, uh, the next one is going to do uh, delete, uh, which is, you know, pretty straightforward. It's just basically the delete button, and what ends up happening is that when you delete, okay, um, all other clips, um, to the front of that original clip get pulled back, okay? Now, on my keyboard, um, I also have the smaller delete button that uh, sits among, uh, right next to the end and the page down buttons, okay? And what that does is it deletes without pulling the, the rest of the clips in, okay? Let's just say, for instance, I have a clip that's attached to this uh, main clip over here, and I were to press the bigger delete button, what ends up happening is what? It deletes everything that is attached to that original clip. But sometimes I may not want that. Sometimes I may want just this clip to remain while I only delete this one here, okay? So that would be the delete selection only, which is option, command, and then the delete button. And notice what it does, right? So this one remained where it's at and everything else got pulled in, right? Okay. Now, uh, let's just say if um, I am working with this clip over here and I wanna, and I am playing it through, okay? But I wanted to have this clip actually um, extend over this way. Now, I would imagine most people would use the mouse and they would drag this over, okay? But, you know, I am a shortcut keys kind of guy. So what I prefer to do is if this happened to be, um, uh, what I can do is um, select this clip here, select the left edge, which is the left and right brackets, okay? So what I can do is play, run my playhead until a point where I want this clip to extend to and press Shift X, and that's going to extend it. The next one is going to be a freeze frame, all right? So the freeze frame is going to simply be option F. Okay, so option F is going to, let's just say from the playhead, 
place a freeze frame of that very frame that the playhead is parked on. Okay, that's option F right there and you can see it by playing it. It's uh, frozen in place. Actually, this uh, function belongs more in my future tutorial, which is going to be all about time and retiming. So this is just a little bonus, I guess. All right. So the next one here is going to be nudging the clips left and right. All right. So let's just say this. I have this clip over here that's sitting up on top. Okay. And I only pull it out of the main storyline because I would like for you to see um, what happens when um, I I push uh, certain shortcut keys to nudge it left and right. Okay. So the first one is to nudge it left and right by, uh, uh, by one frame. And that is the period and the comma um, keys, which to me make more sense to actually uh, look at the, um, the greater than or less than signs um, on those keys. Uh, because uh, graphically speaking, they are more descriptive, you know, as far as the, the function that they perform. So if I press left and right, okay, uh, the comma and the period, okay, everything shifts by one frame, okay. Now, if, you, if I would like to shift the clip uh, in increments of 10 frames, I hold down the shift button while pressing the comma and the period keys, and that's what it exactly what it does, okay. Okay. Next one is going to be the uh, trim key. And this is, um, I, I really love the trim key. It's, um, it's what I use a lot, okay? So let's just say, for instance, you are playing a clip through and you wanna trim it at that particular point, okay? Now, mind you, I had uh, mentioned Shift X, okay? Which is uh, extending or uh, pulling back a clip, okay? I can't execute Shift X because I do not have an edge selected. Okay, now because my playhead was over here, I don't want to go all the way over here, select the edge with the bracket arrow, uh, bracket keys, and then come back to that same spot that I was at. That's just highly inefficient. So what do you do? Option right or left bracket. So that's what it does. Option right bracket is going to trim it from the end. Okay, and conversely, option left bracket will trim, trim the clip from the beginning, like so. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. If I happen to be here, this is the option left bracket, okay? And if I happen to be, let's say over here, option right bracket, we'll trim it at the end, okay? Okay, finally, we have to trim to selection, and that's option backslash. I'm gonna select uh, the range key uh, by pushing R, and if I happen to have uh, this portion um, of the clip that I wanna keep while taking out the other ones, the ends of it, um, I'm going to push option backslash, and that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to preserve the original selection. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please do feel free to leave a uh, message in the comment section below. And do subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out more of these tutorials in weeks to come. All right, thanks.